the Illuminati, Michael Jackson, does a three time spin, signifying the fact that the mark of the devil is a three, as it is triangular. No man rubbish, come on guys, get into the habit of reading credible news and credible information from the problem with that. You are not laying hands. Don't lay hands. You wouldn't lay hands there at work where you work with your big friends. Now you want to come and lay hands here at home. It's not right, guys. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. Is pay it for whatever period that is, you know, under their terms and conditions. These things always have terms and conditions. Sometimes if you are retrenched, uh, not... not Yo, it's your boy back in the building bringing you yet another rendition of The New Kid in the vlog. Yes, baby, we are back for episode 111. And today I have some really exciting stuff to talk to you about. Uh, but we cannot shy away from the fact that we are living under these extreme, extremely dire conditions. We are indoors, guys, whether we like it or not. So what better way to pass time than to subscribe uh, at Man Designs on YouTube and follow me on Twitter at NewKid underscore T45. Yes, that's the one. So to cut straight into it, we'll be covering a few things that uh, the coronavirus or the lockdown, lockdown, three one day lockdown has taught us as the new kid in the vlog. And to get straight into it, number one, reading is important, guys. Reading is extremely important. You cannot be dating that 30 year old guy who thinks that 5G causes Corona. Guys, read, look up articles. There's the World Health Organization. They've got a big, big database and a massive website where you can get information. Please guys, just get into the habit of reading. Some of the conspiracy theories remind me of a time where you'd go onto YouTube and you'd find a video. The Illuminati, Michael Jackson, does a three time spin signifying the fact that the mark of the devil is a three as it is triangular no man rubbish come on guys get into the habit of reading credible news and credible information from proper news sources number two not everyone is a gym instructor and not everyone is a chef guys we appreciate your posts they keep us entertained but some of you make fat cakes that look like they've been around for four weeks it's not right guys Please, don't subject us to some of the things that you are eating. And also, guys, let's leave it to the people that have been instructing us online when it comes to gym. I know I've got a couple of friends that have been added. Now you're saturating that space, clouding the people that have been added for a very long time that can actually give you some proper advice about your physique and how to get those triceps. And you guys are busy saturating it with your little guns, your little pistols. Stop it. And uh, number three. You see that job that they told you that you couldn't do from home? Yeah, look at you. You are doing it right now. <laughs> and also, guys, I feel it's very important because these big corporates and, and, you know, these massive companies always tell us about how they want to reduce the carbon footprint, how they want to make sure that the world is around for years to come. But in hindsight, they are making you drive to work and not even encouraging carpooling. They're making you drive to work. And all those carbon emissions and dirty gases are coming from your car. That 2001 Toyota Tez, that Conquest, the one with the black smoke. That's the one that's causing the hole in the ozone layer. So yeah, man, uh, I think a lot of corporates should really consider getting people to work from home. You know, someone in China says, uh, you know, after they locked down their country, uh, that guy says, I hadn't seen blue skies in a long time. And I'm really excited to even smell how fresh the air is. And I think, uh, you know, if, if, if we as human beings are capable of having that clean air and fresh skies, why not? These big corporates, stop it. Let people work from home like we are working right now. Okay, so number four that we've learned from this 21-day lockdown. The only hairstyle that is suitable to have at any point in your life is this one. Inai, bald, baby. <laughs> because I looked through my timeline. Not a single fade. Not a single, you know, Legends Barber trimming. Nothing. <laughs> Look at you now. Look at your life. <laughs> we, we are surviving. Huh? I, 
can I hear from home? I know there's a couple of uh, niggas that just whip out a blade eh? and just shave. We look clean. Take pictures of yourselves, guys, with your fades and post them online. Go on recent pictures so that you can see how you guys are doing out there with your bushy hair. <laughs> Legends Barber is closed. <laughs> All right. And the last one, number five, that we have taught ourselves from this 21-day lockdown is that the social media space is anyone's for the taking. Don't allow celebrities to overshadow your booming TikTok career. Don't allow them. Work hard. <laughs> because the same way uh, that viewers are a rare commodity, it's the same way that they also fight for them. Fight for your space. You know, your TikTok, let your TikTok boom. All right? And let your podcast boom as well. Let's share it. Because the playing field has been leveled now. Whether you are AKA, whether you are Sizzle Zorm or Casper or Vest, we are all online. You're not going to go to a show now. And, 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 you know, uh, have people talk about how massive your show Wow. Yeah, now it's time for the new kid on the block. We're also getting viewers. We're also getting people to subscribe. Please switch on those notifications. Comment and let us know what you think of our episode today. Even Sister Shopo said some of these celebrities must even stop now. They must stop uh, uh, going live on Instagram because they get like five people watching. <laughs> Some guy says he was watching uh, with a celebrity and it was just the two of them. And he was too embarrassed to exit the Instagram live because then there'd be no more viewers. And the brands are watching you. Hmm? The brands are also watching us that are out here podcasting and chilling. Yeah, the new kid in the vlog. Okay, so enough about what we've learned from Corona. Just uh, something very, very important I want to touch on, guys. It is extremely crucial that we, while waging a war against um, COVID-19, by the way, you're not smart, you're not a nerd if you call it COVID-19. You know, it's in South Africa, it's coronavirus. Let's leave it there. Um, let's not forget uh, to also wage a war against domestic violence. Those people that live like in close proximity with like neighbors that have like abusive tendencies, please guys, make it known. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure of the exact figures, but I know for a fact that, um, you know, the government reported that there was a spike, like an extreme spike in the amount of cases that were reported to the SAPS uh, that have to do with gender-based violence. Please, guys, make it a point that you are not laying hands. Don't lay hands. You wouldn't lay hands there at work where you work with your big friends. Now you want to come and lay hands here at home. It's not right, guys. Don't do it. Um, and you know, enough about all of the depressing stuff. Uh, we want to move on to a very, very important segment of the show that I thought I should share with you because I think it is extremely crucial that every single person knows about this. And this is the idea of credit insurance. So simply put, what credit insurance is, it's a protection of the loan that you take, sometimes for your car finance, sometimes a simple personal loan, sometimes, you know, uh, a contract, cell phone contract, or whatever. Most of these loans after the year 2007 come with what we call credit insurance. Because you would remember after we, uh, I don't know, that recession that we had in 2007, a lot of people were retrenched, a lot of people became jobless, and a lot of people were indebted to companies that they couldn't pay anymore. And it's, it's, it's sad to say that the same might just happen in this era of COVID-19. So give your uh, creditors a call. Yeah? This is some advice from the new kid in the vlog. Give your creditors a call. Just find out from them. They, they, they while you are busy debiting, or even ask them to email you a copy of the contract that they made you sign so that you can read through and find out because it might just save your life because what credit insurance does is that in the event that you are no longer able to pay that debt back what they then do is pay it for whatever period that is you know under their terms and conditions these things always have terms and conditions sometimes if you are retrenched uh not not willingly they don't say yeah who wants a package and you say yeah i want a package ah uh, when you get retrenched uh and then you didn't know about it they also provide, they pay for your loans. Uh, and, and sometimes it's a, it's a standalone product that you get from other insurance companies that they call credit protection, uh, where you would be able to pay for your bond or whatever credits you have 
because you know they just give you a certain amount and you then when it comes to uh, you know independent insurance companies they just give you, you they allow you to choose an amount and sometimes you have that insurance those of you that do please make sure you make use of it and those of you that don't and have loans i know um institutions like i know apps made back as well you take a personal look i've taken personal loans eh? uh why do you think i have such nice laptops <laughs> um if you've taken a personal loan, just make it a point, guys, that you call and check up on them because that might be the difference between you bouncing back from uh, what could possibly be a global depression and living your life, living your best life. Again, guys, this has been episode 11. I think we've covered absolutely everything. Do not forget to subscribe to Man Designs on YouTube. We beg, I beg, oh, uh, subscribe. Make sure that you turn the notifications on so that every time you drop a video, which we'll try and do as frequently as possible, uh, you get a notification. And also comment because, you know, then we, we, we get ideas from you guys and we know what you guys want to talk about because this platform is about you. And here's to reaching 300 subscribers. We, are, we have far surpassed the 300 mark, which guys, I, I can safely say, for me, as a milestone, you might not see it there. You guys with 11,000, 15,000, 20,000 people on your subscribers you might not see it as, you know, but I think you you remember a time where you had 300 subscribers and it was it was a great feeling. So we, we, we are happy to say that the brand is growing. The idea is expanding and we'll be there to share these 21 days with you as you know, as consistently as we possibly can. Also, please make it a point that you follow me at newkid underscore T45 on Twitter because it is the new kid in the vlog bringing you the best.